Tale of a Morning Bird Read by jo The child had loved their doll for a very long time. They had had it since they were small, and throughout their childhood had always kept it close. The doll had comforted them. It made them happy in times of grief. But as time passed and the child grew, the doll slowly became increasingly warm and broken. The child was clumsy and forgetful. They would often drop or lose their beloved doll. Yet they always found it in the end, although not without a whirl of tears. The longest and last time they lost the doll happened on a day they had been playing in the woods, having a little tea party. But then there came a droplet of water, and another, and another, until the rain poured down from the skies, disrupting the tea party. The child attempted to roll up the blanket they had been sitting on and collect everything inside their blanket bundle. Yet they were in such a rush that they did not notice their most beloved doll fall out into the rain-soaked grass. The child did not notice their loss until that night. By then, it was too dark to go out searching in the now frightening forest. <laughs> The next morning, the rain had died down, and the sky was blue with sun. The child decided to go and look for their lost friend. They could not spill their tears, made miserable by their fear that they would lose their doll forever. They did not end up finding it that day, nor the next day, nor the day after that. In fact, it took them a whole week to find the doll, wrapped up in a bush of sharp brambles. They pulled it out of the scratching thorns, and their tears finally stilled. Yet, they found something about the doll was wrong. From the cracks in its porcelain skin, a cruel buzzing came. The child looked closer and closer and closer, and they saw through a crack beside the doll's mouth something crawling. It flew out from the hole, and an entire Swarming clouds followed close behind. The child screamed and dropped their doll. In the time it had been lost, the doll had become infested. All the love and memories embedded in the doll had been hollowed out, and all that was left 
was a porcelain husk. The child's heart was filled with the misery far beyond that when they first lost the ball. Such a grieving loss screamed within them that it echoed throughout the forest, and something high in the branches of the tree heard. A bird fluttered down from the tree and landed before the child in a flutter of black feathers. They looked at the bird with tear-brimmed eyes as it called a promise to return that for which they grieved. The child sat by a puddle which the bird hopped its way over to, looking into its depths. In the glowing evening sunlight, the bird could see its slightly warped reflection rippling the water as it dipped its beak into the surface. The bird lifted its head from the puddle, taking up with it a doll identical to the child's as it used to be. The child delighted in seeing the doll and laughed in glee at the way the sunlight reflected off its glass eyes. They thanked the bird as they took the doll into their arms and hugged it close to their face, still wet from tears. It was not just identical, it was the very same doll sporting the same marks of wear and memory that gave the child's doll its identity. They began skipping home, leaving the old infested doll alone in the forest, half forgotten, sheltered from the drizzling rain by the branches it lay six feet below. There once was a morning bird, fond of keen and loss. When it heard those with grieving hearts, it flew down from the dar tree, and with its beak of three took that which had been lost from its lingering image which lurked in the mirrored surface, window to the dark between. <laughs>